Hi ladies, it's Penny here. I think it's been a couple of weeks since I've um, put anything up. In, in fact, I had made a, a short video of what I'm showing you now, but I didn't put it up because one, it needed alteration. Um, when I looked at it proper, there was something wrong, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and I thought, no, I'm not going to put that one up. And then Easter happened and then things happen and anyway I'm here now I was watching the lovely beautifully talented um, Jean Rag and she'd done something much better <laughs> um, but something I did like very much which was a, a a hanky story you know not just your normal tissues so that you could put them in uh, paper tissues my hands going up and down to show you how you take tissues out of the box and um, but my vintage hankies because I have been collecting a few and some of them I've been embroidering on because it's such lovely light linen but some of them are just too nice for me to embroider on and so I thought well I'd like to keep them safe and keep them in a nice place and so this idea was perfect it's it's nearly the same as uh, Jean's design um, I've just modified it a little bit uh, Jean did it in beautiful cream vintage um, cream and like coffee colours and that it was beautiful but I didn't have enough of them type of colours so it's gone to a pink one so this is it in front of you and I've got it stood on a candle up here I'm, I'm in the kitchen because uh, I can't get my desk because I'm do, doing something else up there. So I'm in the kitchen, but I'm a bit cramped because, look, can you see my scooter's next to me because it's usually kept in the car, even though it's a big one. Um, but I've just had to put all stuff from the caravan in the car because the caravan's gone off to have um, something done. There's a little gas leak or something and the manufacturers have found, so... It's gone, it's gone to the bend, it's going be made better. So anyway, back to my, what do you call this, a uh, hanky holder. It's cardboard. That's the base. Um, I think it's, oh, I can't remember the measurements, it's about 10 by 10, I think, overall. I think I haven't got my ruler with me, have I? Hold on, I might have a thing in there. Uh, tape measure. I might. Sometimes. Sometimes I do. And sometimes I don't. And I haven't. Yeah. Oh. Sorry ladies, I thought I had a tape measure. But I haven't. I think it's... It must be about 10 inches, that mustn't it? So, as so it's square, I've only put paper on the back. Um... I can't remember the uh, uh, French town. Ma, 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 oh, Madame Puard, I think her name was on the um, the pack paper. So I like that. So I did give it a um, mud podge over to give it a bit more um, strength and to so you could wipe it at least. I then made four flaps. I'll just take this off so you can see. I made four flaps. I'm going to go around the camera here to try and show you. Now, I think Jean's went flat down like that, really flat down her flaps. But I've made them with a little bit of um, a fold here because I wanted a little bit of height. Because I, oh, yeah, there's something stuck on there now. I don't know what that is cotton of some kind here on this um, velcro I'll get that off in a minute um, because I knew I had a few more hankies than what we're going to fit in here so that's the four corners I filled them with some pretty pink paper much podged it over as well and then I started and I painted along the edges in pale pink uh, I then if I take my hankies out, I covered the inside, uh, 
cover the inside with some lace after painting it. No, I didn't paint inside. I, I covered it with um, paper. You could just see it through. And this pink and white plat lace I put round there. Um, I then put a trim around. But before that, I had to put a pocket. So I've just put a plain white pocket in. You can get quite a bit in there. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you. Quite, you know, quite a bit in there. And then this white trim, which matched this pink trim. So I put the white trim all the way around, but it didn't quite fit, so I've had to put um, a different sort at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't think it matters. This is a, it's a pretty little lace at the bottom here. So that was that. And then the corners, more or less the same. Um, I was just putting one... Oh, where should I show you on this one? I was just putting one um, piece, you know, along here and then the braiding on the outside. But I noticed you could still see the edges, so I put another piece of lace over it. And I think it looks better like that. And it makes it more durable as well. So that was the inside. And, I was, oh, and then I put a... Um, this is from a trim of uh, lacy... Um, organza like flowers on a trim so um, I put one here and I had this little love charm here which I thought looked nice in the middle so I put that and that's the inside and I'll show you if I put my hankies in there's some see what I mean there's some beautiful hankies out there I mean there's no way I could embroider on that it is silk done with silk um, lacing on the outside and um, you know, things like this, they're so pretty and yeah, so what are you going to do with them? I'm not going to do anything with these because these are my hoardy ones <laughs> and I don't know what will end up will end up most probably in charity shop eventually again so that's mainly where I've got them from, charity shops and um, car boots and what have you and I dare say um, that's where family will put them again. <laughs> but anyway, they're safe. They're safe for another couple of years anyway, I think, in here. So if I put that in nicely, it does look nicer than that. Hold on. Bear with me. Let's tuck that down there. And I like this one on top for obvious reasons. Because it's so pretty. There. So that's how that works. And then... Any extras, you can actually put quite a bit in there, see? So, that was the inside. Outside, very similar, very similar. I covered it in um, paper, then lace, just a flat back lace. Uh, I found some more rosettes in the organza, and... Um, and I know a friend of mine, Jackie, she gave me some uh, jewellery, costume jewellery, and I was so lucky because I found uh, four or five of these little diamantes that matched perfectly with, with this project, so I was very happy to find them. Very happy. Now I, and then I put braiding, which I know I got from um, a man, I don't know where this cotton kit's come from. Oh, is it cat hair? No, it's not cat hair. It's like... I don't know, it's cotton of some kind. And, uh, <laughs> waffling on again, Ben, I'm waffling. So, this nice braiding I got. Now, the last time video I did, I was like this, showing, showing the camera. Look how pretty it all looks. And then I noticed I'd done just one row in pure white braiding, whereas this is all like a cream and up white. And I haven't noticed in the bad lighting had I in the craft room but when I come downstairs and try to do this video or that video <laughs> I could see it then I'm gonna to have to change this if I can't get all this up I'll be changing that uh, velcro so I've changed it all now and I think it looks pretty nice I'm pretty pleased with that so for the top bit I've made this flower um, a little while ago and I knew it had a nice pink diamante in the middle. 
uh, I think that was from Mandy's shop as well. But that's why I was so pleased to find these little ones in my little stash of uh, costume jewellery. Because it just, um, it made sense to put it up here. So the flower wasn't quite as big. Um, I've added one or two extra layers just to make it look a bit bigger. So what happens then is, you can just, if I put it down, just fold it. I think um, Jean used exactly the same principle of closing the box as I've just done with the, with the Velcro. So it's a lovely little project and um, and I enjoyed doing it. And I'm not very good at measuring and everything like that. Um, well, I'm not bad at measuring, it's the cutting. I think I've got it right, and then when I cut it, for some reason, the measurements go off. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they say measure is it twice or three times and cut once. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's my little project, which I thought I'd show you on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if I put a picture or two on Facebook. Um, I will do anyway. So that's the back. That's the front, and I thank you very much for watching. Um, I don't think there was anything else out to to show you or tell you. Um, that's at the moment. I'm going to come back soon with some other stuff that I've been doing. So thank you very much for watching, ladies, and and welcome to all my new subbies. Um, I think Bet's, Bet B D Betsy Doodle has been. Um, Sending a few over, very kind of her, bless her. And uh, so welcome to my channel. Um, I'm hoping today to go into my uh, Fimo clay. I just feel like messing with some Fimo clay, so I'm going to do a couple of miniatures, I think, for the um, garden. Hold on, I think somebody's at the door. Sorry, ladies, I thought I'd put you on, um, no, I haven't, have I? I thought I'd put you on hold, but I haven't. But there's nobody at the door, it's just my hearing, or the cat trying to get in or out, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, she's been in, and she's just at everything that's in her bowl, so it was most probably going out through the window again. Um, she was a guest, and now she's a squatter. She keeps coming in and out. So that's it ladies, it's not as warm as it was on Sunday, I had a lovely day in the garden on Sunday with my art, um, he was weeding and doing stuff and I ended up painting the little bug house that we've got to entrap um, ladybirds and anything else that wants to go in a bug house and I repainted Chloe's fairy house in the little fairy garden, so that's what I want to add to today with my female clay. I think I'll go and do some female, but I'm going to make a cup of tea first. So, thanks for watching, ladies. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.